All right. Happy birthday, TechTO. All right. Big crowd. This is crazy. Okay, who likes to talk about death? Okay, I was going to say nobody. Not a single person, usually. Uh, that's weird, but that's good on you. Let me ask you this. Who would like to easily plan for their future and have peace of mind for themselves and for their family? Yeah, that sounds better, right? Okay. Well, for whoever, whoever doesn't have a will, don't worry, you're not alone. And it's not too late. Over 56% of Canadian adults don't have a will either. Crazy number, right? Why is that? Two reasons. Cost. Costs a lot of money to get a will done. Number two is time. We're all too damn busy. You know, that's not a good excuse, but that's what our excuse is. That's where we come in. My name is Kevin Olds. I'm the founder and CEO of Willful, and it is our mission to make it easy and affordable for Canadians to create a legal will online in the comfort of their own home. So I'm going to show you how easy it is. We're going to do a demo of our, of our screen now, if we can get that up. Well, nothing on the board yet. Um, anyways, guys, uh, this is Corey over here, who's going to be my assistant taking you through the demo. Um, oh. <laughs> Of course, this happens to me on this day. This is awesome. <laughs> it worked in our tryouts. Mac adapters, that's the problem. Yeah. Sorry, guys, bear with us here for a second. So we're actually going to do a live, we're going to take you through from start to finish. We're going to create a will for, well, for myself. Um, we have three plans that we offer, and we're going to do an essentials plan because that is the, the fastest plan that we can go through right now. There's the least moving parts. So, okay, we're, I'm seeing our stuff on the screen here. Okay. Woo. I get a bit of extra time, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, just another quick note. We are only live in Ontario right now, um, but we are looking to expand shortly. And um, our wills are created by uh, state lawyers. We have three state lawyers who help create this content in Ontario, and that's where we're live right now. So if you click Get Started, this is where we end up. Create your user profile. And uh, we take you through a, a series of a couple questions to get, you know you, get to know you a little bit better. Um, so you know, where are we from? Great city of Toronto. Ontario, because we're only in Ontario right now, and your birth date, um, I'm male, and the reason behind these questions, sorry, I'm going to be single for now, my fiance is in the, in the crowd, uh, just for the demo, I'll be single, I have no kids, and rent, and based on these questions, we provide, a, a, we, we, we suggest a plan that should suit your needs, but we're going to go with the essentials plan here, because it is the fastest way to go, and this is, brings you to your dashboard. And we take you through the entire process. So we first start with executor and estate trustees. This is someone who's going to act on behalf of your estate. Very important job. So we, we ask you to uh, create a backup, or even two backups, because sometimes someone might not want this responsibility, or they're not able to act in this role for health reasons or whatever it is. So um, we ask for backups. Then we jump to final wishes. Very, very important documents or information not legally binding, but I can tell you from my own personal experience, my family went through a situation where we didn't know final wishes and funeral arrangements, and it sucked. Our family fought, and it was terrible. So we're going to go for here. I want to be cremated. I'll let my family decide uh, what to do with my, my ashes. And then we ask what kind of ceremony you'd want. And let's go for a wake. I want to have people drinking and having fun. So from there, we go to specific gifts. This could be a cash donation to an organization, like Sick Kids, just putting it out there. Uh, or this could be a present, a watch, your favorite painting, something that has sentimental value to you. And then we jump into your beneficiaries. Who's going to benefit from your estate? So, okay, Corey's going to jump in there because we're good buddies. And uh, let's add, uh, let's see, put Aaron in there for now. 
okay? And uh, we'll add one more here. And as you can see, there's a little blue toggle switch right now. And now there's green. So you can kind of switch back and forth to see how you want to divide your estate up at this point. But since I'm a nice guy, we'll go even, distribute evenly. And then we jump to your beneficiaries. And if something happens to one of your beneficiaries, it could go to their children if they have kids, or you can divide it amongst the surviving beneficiaries. So we'll go to the next. Oh, okay, now I wanna make sure that this is going to the right email. So I'm gonna confirm my email. One second here. <laughs> okay. They said it needs to be live as possible, so I'm trying to, trying to do the full experience here. Give me one sec here, guys, sorry. This is not, uh, our, the internet's a little slow right now. So maybe open up one of our, uh, open up, uh, let's say a Gmail account here. Yeah. Sorry guys, trying to be as live as possible. Email's not coming through. Um, all right, click that. So that's what you'd get. You get an email confirmation and it will bounce. So the screen will bounce right away and it's gonna bring us to the payment, okay? So on the top right, you can see the essentials plan, what you're paying for, and you can upgrade or change at any time. And also here, promo code. So if you see TechTO, you guys can all use promo code TechTO right now. We're gonna have it open for two weeks and everyone will get 15% savings uh, to try our platform. And our uh, payment system is done through Stripe, so very secure. And we'll gonna, we're gonna check our documents. So as you notice here in the top right, right now you don't have a legally binding will at the moment, you must print it sign it correctly, and then store it. Now, it's not because we're lazy, it's because that's Canadian law. Right now, at this time, we're not able to digitally sign or store a will, and we're gonna try to change that eventually. The laws are very old, and, and that's something that we're working on. A lot of customers want to create their will and do it online. And again, as you see, last will and testament, Kevin Olds, um, go through our instruction page, gives you easy instructions on how to fill it out correctly and how to sign it and store it. And we just created a will in about four minutes. So thank you very much for having me guys. And I'd love to take any questions. Questions. Hi there. Um, I've actually personally tried to make a will myself, and every single time I get online, I look at it, and I'm like, uh, I don't know which one's accurate. I don't know which one's, you know, actually legally binding. How do you get yourself out there to let people know that, like, this is actually something that's easy to do, it's legally binding, and it's, you know, concrete, you don't have to worry about it? By demoing at TechTO. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but uh, seriously, like, that's a great question. Um, there are a few people out there, a few competitors out there. Um, a lot of people don't know. You can create a will and write it on a napkin if you sign it yourself, but that's probably not the best thing to do. Um, we are, like I said, we have three estate lawyers who have helped create all the legal content, and if you follow our instruction page properly, which is, it's very easy, uh, once you follow that, you have, you have a legally binding will, and you're able to, you know, we ask you to store it properly and let your executor and a family member know where to get it and how to find it in an emergency. Hey Kevin, can you uh, easily update it and then like re-sign it? Like, so can you just go back in there and continually update it whenever? Yeah, good question. So another thing, if you do a will through a traditional lawyer at a brick and mortar office, if you have to change something, you have to go back and and usually you have to pay for that update. Uh, with our site, you can go in and make unlimited changes for free, um, but you do have to go through the signing process uh, every time. So we don't encourage you to make tons of changes, but if you need to make a change, just do the same signing process and, and you have a legally binding will with free changes. One last question. Hi, uh, I was curious about what makes it better than like 
not the napkin version, but like downloading a form and just filling it out myself. What makes the software better? Good question. So you can, people can download a, a will kit um, or a template form or buy a form at a bookstore. Those are all one size fits all. And the difference with our software is our backend legal content will move around based on the information that you put into it. And the other thing, people will sign things incorrectly, like not having a capitalized name or letter on a name. And we eliminate that through our software and as well as signing it. So people sign it incorrectly, which is a big no-no. And we couldn't see it on our, on our instruction page, but based on the input I had in there, my beneficiary, my beneficiary showed up and it said, based on the input you put in, they should not sign or their spouses should not sign as well. So we're trying to make it as error-proof as possible and that's a big problem that will kits can get you into is signing incorrectly and putting the wrong information in. Thank you for your question. Thank you. Okay.